All right, so let's talk about another fun reaction with alcohols, and these are dehydration reactions. Now, by dehydration reactions, what we're doing is we're removing an H2O from our organic molecule, and we're creating a carbon-carbon double bond. Now, in this case, we're going to do this by what's called an acid-catalyzed reaction. So in our reaction arrows, we're going to have an H2O and an H+. Now, the H+, is going to come from a strong acid, so you could work with something like HCl, HBrHi. The big issues with working with these is that you can get substitution of this, hydro of this alcohol with the Br and Cl. So preferably you would work with a large acid or something that you know isn't going to really participate in this reaction. So the sulfuric acid here is a good choice, but again, if you look through previous videos, there are ways that we can get side reactions with sulfuric acid. But let's just focus. Let's say we add the H plus, H plus to this. What do we think is going to happen? Well, we have a mechanism. And the first thing that's going to happen is that we're going to protonate our OH group. And our OH group is going to become an OH2 plus. This is going to be our leaving group. And our leaving group is going to leave us with this. Sorry, let me draw that a little bit bigger better for you. So we have our water. And we have our carbocation. Now, do we have a carbocation? This indicates that we could have um, issues of rearrangement. The big thing here is that we now need to eliminate a hydrogen. And if you look at our nearest carbons, these two are equivalent. We've got three on this CH3 group, and we've got two on this carbon. So which way are we going to go? Well, this is where we're going to get to rule. So Zaitsev's rule says that when we do a reaction like this, what we expect to do is we expect to pull a hydrogen off the most substituted carbon. So if we're going to use this acid catalyzed dehydration, we're not going to get an alkane or a double bond between this carbon and this methyl group. We're going to get it between this and the most nearest hydrogen. So we're going to end up breaking this hydrogen-hydrogen bond and creating a double bond between these two carbons. So this will be the end result when we finish. We're going to take our dehydration reaction, assuming we don't get any rearrangements, form this compound this cycloalkene. So this is reversible if you look at other videos, but the big thing here is when we do water and acid catalyzed dehydration reactions, one, we're going to follow the Zaitsev's rule, so we're going to form the double bond between where our alcohol was, assuming we don't get a rearrangement, and the nearest carbon that doesn't that has the most substitutions on it. So the one with the least number of hydrogens, and we're going to produce water as well as the alkene.